Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky. The moon is now a waning gibbous phase and will be shining brightly before dawn on April 16th and 17th. You'll notice a bright red star near the moon on April 16th. It's Antares, the brightest star in Scorpius to Scorpion. In some areas of the globe, we'll see the moon cross in front of Antares. Then on April 17th, the moon will move to the other side of Antares and is pointing toward the stinger of Scorpius. Antares represents the heart of the scorpion, and it's a red supergiant star that'll explode someday. Antares is the 15th brightest star in the sky. If the sky is dark enough, even with the bright moon, you may see some of the stars of Scorpius. Scorpius resembles a fish hook or J pattern of stars. Scorpius is rising before midnight now and is visible through dawn. Check out the stars Shola and Laysoth. They mark the stinger of the scorpion and are called the cat's eyes. Look at them through binoculars and you'll see why. If you point binoculars at Antares, you'll find a nice globular cluster of stars called M4 nearby. Globular star clusters appear as fuzzy patches of light in binoculars. They contain hundreds of thousands of stars. And with Scorpius rising before midnight now, that means the thickest portion of the Milky Way is on its way back to our evening skies. And don't forget to look for the gibbous moon opposite the sunrise. It'll be low over the western horizon.